You first need to import a plane to your scene. Once you select the plane, you need to make sure the X scale axis is at point 8. And make sure the X location is also at point 8 so it's lined up. Next, go to the Object tab and click Set Origin and then Origin to 3D Cursor. Next, click Tab and enter Edit Mode. Once you're in Edit Mode, you're going to right-click and then click Subdivide. In the corner of your screen, you're going to see the Subdivide menu. Open the menu and set the Subdivide level to 32. Next, add a sphere empty to the scene. Then rotate the sphere 90 degrees on the x-axis. And this sphere is going to be used for the bending of the page. Next, press S to scale down the sphere. Add a square empty to the scene. Scale it down to around the same size as the sphere. This will be used for the rotation of the page. Next, go into the Object tab and click Apply and then Scale. Rename the square empty to Parent. Next, click on the plane and open the Relations tab on the left side of the screen. Set the Parent in the Relations tab to the square empty that you previously named. Click the sphere empty and also add the same parent to it. The square should now rotate the plane since they're parented together. Keyframe the Y-axis rotation at zero. Make sure you're at frame one when you keyframe it. Next, go to frame 100 or whatever frame you want to end the flipping of the page. And make sure the keyframe on the Y-axis is set to negative 180. Now we have the rotation done. Now we need to add the bending of the page. Go into Modifiers and click Deform, then click the simple Deform button. This will be used to bend our page. After it's selected, make sure to set it to Bend, and then use the Z-axis for the bend. Set the origin to the empty not named any. Keyframe the angle at 0 at frame 1. Next, go to frame 50 and keyframe the angle at around 160 degrees at frame 100. You're going to want to make sure the keyframe angle is back at zero. If you find that the paper is clipping through the floor, you need to rotate the page more. For example, I find the paper clipping at around frame 30, so I'm going to use the parent empty to rotate it more, so it's not clipping anymore. Troubleshoot this till you find the best result without any clipping. You can see the fact that the paper is low poly when it starts to bend. So make sure to go to the Object tab and click Shade Smooth. Now to add other pages so the book isn't paper thin, you're going to need to make a new plane with its X size at point 8 and X location at point 8 as well. Once that's done, go into the Modifier tab and create a Geometry node. Copy what's on the screen to your Geometry nodes. Once you have this done, you should move the pages slightly down so they're not clipping the actual active pages. Select the plane in the collection and right, click and click copy. Right click on an open spot and paste data blocks so you can have a second animatable page. Select the new square empty and move all keyframes to wherever you want your next page turn to be. Click on the page to move the bending of the page to the same keyframes you moved your page turn to. 
If you want to change the page flipping to other keyframes, feel free to. To texture both sides, create a new texture and enter texture mode. Delete the principal BSDF and add both images you want to add for each side. Add a mix shader and attach both images to the mix. Shader add a geometry node in the texture mode. Add the back facing node to the face node in the mix shader. Once you have everything textured, add a camera, select the camera, and enter camera mode. Click F3, and then search Walk Navigation, click on it, and animate your camera. Click I on your keyboard when you want to set a keyframe for your animation. For the comic book style text font, search up on your browser comic text bubble, transparent. Go onto a website called fodor.com, import your image into Fodor and add text and put whatever you want and export them and make sure it's transparent Go into Preferences and go click Add-ons, search Insert Images, as Planes make sure it's enabled. Insert the comic book text bubble. Properly keyframe the comic book bubble font. Move them using the G key on your keyboard Use I on your keyboard to insert the keyframes. To export it, transparently follow what's on screen. 